Everybody's been wondering, can the grains hang on to the gains that they had earlier this session? Well, let's find out. Let's go to the corn board right off the bat and find out on our quotes provided by Bar Chart. You know, we have December still showing a double digit gain. It's 10 and a quarter higher at 581 and a quarter. And that is still over 11 cents off of our earlier low from the early morning trade. Now to the soybeans. Check out January 32 and three quarters higher at 1284. That's over a nickel from our high of the day, but still very, very strong. Now, uh, big gains across the board in soybeans. The nearbys are leading the charge, as they would say. In the wheat market in Chicago, you have December 19 and three quarters higher at 8.30 per bushel. However, it has backed off from its earlier high this morning by a full nickel. Kansas City wheat, December 15 and a quarter higher at 8.36. But a similar story here, we're four and a half cents off of its earlier high today. So things may be taking a breather, maybe they're reloading, who knows. December spring wheat, now 12 and a half cents higher at 10.27 and a half. And the cotton market had been showing gains of over 100 points. Well, now try this on for size. All of a sudden, you have the December contract 327 points higher. That's not a misprint. 300, now 331 points higher at 121.29 as it explodes to the upside on the nearby cotton market. What a surge we are seeing take place there. And that's almost a 400 point swing from earlier this morning. We are joined by Chris Swift of Swift Trading. He's based in Nashville here. And Chris, uh, boy, these grain markets really on fire here today. What do you see driving all this? You know, Warren, I think it's just followed through from what we've seen the past couple of weeks. We've gotten into our harvest areas. We've seen the, uh, the yields come out just as what USDA kind of thought we did. So there's been no increase in the crop. And the worries for next year are still very, very adamant. And it's not really as much for the farmer as it is for the livestock producers and end users of those products. So what we're seeing right now is where uh, the corn market and the bean market have now really moved higher, but the meal market may have started a lot of this. Just the price of meal under $350 a ton looked very attractive to a lot of pork production. So I think that's what you're seeing more than anything is the meal market took off and everything tried to jump to catch it. Now, on the corn market, it looks like it's trying to test the recent highs that were made, uh, it looks like about November 2nd or thereabouts. Um, what happens if they can't take that out either today or tomorrow? You know, I'm not real sure. A lot of people put weight on whether they can or cannot take it out within a certain time frame. I think that we have been stuck here between 550 and 590 for the last several weeks. So um, it, it may not be today or tomorrow, but just the last four trading days have been very stagnant. If you get above that, you have to believe that there's probably some short positions that are very uncomfortable. On the other hand, boy, when you look at a soybean chart here, I mean, it was in a long-term downtrending channel, and it has blown out that downtrend line here at least for the past two or three days now, right? Oh, it is, and it's back up above it. If you had a channel drawn on it, you're now back up above the channel to the upside. Mm -hmm. And again, the bean meal market seems to be what is uh, the most recent push to it. And bean oil is the one that for very first started and led it to the upside there. And now meal took a little bit of a breather this summer. And now with increased pork production in China, and we know that poultry production is still very elevated, that that meal is very needed. Interesting dynamics as we wind down the harvest activity here in the U.S. for this season. Thanks for joining us, Chris. Uh, we'll talk to you again soon. Chris Swift of Swift Trading. We'll pause right here. We'll get you updated on livestock trade right after these messages. Come on back.